Tali maneuverable avant-garde hypersonic missile impossible to intercept, expert says about new U.S.-Japan pact. Japan and the United States will carry out extensive joint missile technology research to intercept hypersonic glide missiles deployed by China and Russia, reported Asian Nikkei on December 4. Russia has already deployed a hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, while China is said to have started using the DF-17, a ballistic missile capable of delivering the HGV warhead. According to the report, Japan's Ministry of Defense will start developing an anti-missile interceptor that can function at altitudes beyond current anti-missile defenses by 2023. Tokyo needs Washington's help in developing technology that will allow the rockets to change flight trajectories, allowing them to engage maneuvering hypersonic targets during their ultra-high-speed approaches. If the cooperation is successful, it is expected that interceptor missiles will be installed on two destroyers equipped with Japan's Aegis Air and Missile Defense Systems, which are scheduled to be operational in 2027 and 2028 respectively. Earlier this year, it was first reported that Japan plans to increase cooperation with the U.S. on counter-hypersonic weapons research. The Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, confirmed in January that deals had been made on RM and new technologies, such as AI, directed energy weapons, quantum computing, space weaponry, and countering hypersonic missiles. Japan's ballistic missile defense system is divided into two parts. The first line of defense is SM-3 interceptor missiles fired from Aegis ships at sea. It aims to take down ballistic missiles outside the atmosphere. If the SM-3 is not successful, the Patriot Pack 3 surface-to-air missile on the ground will attempt to take down the target upon re-entering the atmosphere at an altitude of 20 kilometers or less. The newest Pack 3 versions are believed to be able to engage HGVs just before they engage a target, but because they are ground-based their range of protection is limited. The news regarding the Japan-US cooperation follows reports from last month that Tokyo intends to modify its current Type 03 medium-range missile air defense system to intercept hypersonic missiles. Missile system, which was developed in the 1990s and entered service in 2003, has an effective range of 50 km, a speed of Mach 2.5, and a high explosive warhead activated via a proximity fuse. Despite joint US and Japanese efforts, a Russian military analyst predicts that neither Washington nor Tokyo will be able to build a missile that can take down the Russian avant-garde hypersonic missile. According to Russian military analyst Alexei Lenkov, who spoke with RIA Novosti, it will be difficult to intercept the avant-garde because there is no way to predict the avant-garde's flight path or create a missile that travels several tens of times faster than the speed of sound. Lenkov stated that the Japanese media talk about creating technologies for intercepting hypersonic launcher units, but the nuance is that the avant-garde is a maneuverable block, that is, it is impossible to predict at what point in the airspace it will be. Next second. Now, this is an unsolvable task. Experts point out that in order to test such an anti-missile system, the US and Japan will need to build an adequate target, namely a maneuverable hypersonic combat unit, similar to the avant-garde. But even the highly developed military-industrial complexes of these countries cannot build something like that, he said. He explained that there was an easier solution to this problem, fire chase so the missile mimics the target's movement and knocks it out. But in this case, the speed of the anti-missile missile must be 1.5 times faster than the target to catch up and intercept it. Our avant-garde develops Mach 27 speed, a US-Japan rocket would have to fly faster than the speed of sound by 40 times, this is unrealistic, he said. Experts claim that a sample of the American hypersonic missile can reach a top speed of Mach 5 to 6. On the other hand, According to its designers, the avant-garde hypersonic combat unit can travel at Mach 27, or around 33,000 km per hour, depending on the circumstances. The 1st Regiment, equipped with the strategic missile system with the avant-garde hypersonic glide cruise unit, joined the Yasnensky Missile Division in 2019, 